With Ubuntu 23.04 right around the corner, we're checking it out today in the beta release to see if it's worthwhile upgrading to the latest and greatest in Ubuntu. By far, one of the biggest changes coming to us is the new installer has finally been rolled out. They've built this one with Flutter. Here's how it looks. We can install or try Ubuntu, choose a keyboard layout. Notice that the panels have completely changed. The design here has changed as well. They've really condensed the options to make the install experience even easier. So I'm going to use a wired connection, do the normal installation, erase everything, put in my username and password, and you'll notice that they ask you to choose a theme right off the bat, which I can select the dark or light theme. Now, one thing I do want to mention about this new Flutter based installer is that it's currently a little sluggish going between slides. I believe that that might be better by the time the stable release is released. And there you go. That's what it looks like there. And if you hit this terminal icon, you'll notice all the information on the current install of Ubuntu, which is what Ubuntu server has used. Great to see it coming to the Ubuntu desktop. Of course, there are new slides for us available. You can actually scroll to the end of this one now and even pause our slides if we need a moment to read them. Overall, the install experience has initially impressed me. Great to see that they're making things easier for newcomers, but that's definitely not a reason that I would choose to upgrade the system. Let's move on to the next thing, but before we do, make sure to smash that like button for me. And with this Ubuntu update, we'll be seeing GNOME 44. Here's the login screen with the larger avatar featured and the same onboarding process as before. With the GNOME 44 updated desktop, we'll see a few changes. Most notably, if you go to the top right, you'll notice that there are split buttons or what I like to call pills that have device information or modes. Here we can see a wired connection. We can select between what power mode we want, whether we want the light or dark style, toggled on quickly and whether you like the nightlight mode on or off. If you do have a Bluetooth adapter installed on, you'll also notice a new pill that allows you to select Bluetooth. And much like when I click wired connections, you'll get the option to finally select a Bluetooth device directly from the submenu, which is a fantastic thing. A lot of you are going to like that feature. Again, a lot of the focus here is the fact that we're using GNOME 44. And most notably, if you start up the GNOME file browser, you'll notice a few changes in here. Now, one thing you can do in this new version of Nautilus is go to preferences and hit the expandable folders list view. This is a feature that a lot of people like, lets you expand through various directories so that you can pretty much see everything from one view as you expand and collapse folders or directories. In about, we can see that we're running Linux kernel 6.2 for this Ubuntu 23.04 version. And another exciting change made in settings is the fact that they've overhauled the mouse settings. So I'll go to mouse and touchpad and you'll notice these various different settings here with graphics and more customization for the mouse. They even put some animations down so you can see what it's like to scroll. So you select a scroll direction, whether you want traditional or natural and what that represents actually, as well as adjusting your pointer speed and whether or not the mouse has acceleration. You can also hit the test settings button and test your changes. That way you can detect whether or not you have double clicks, single clicks, so on and so forth. Of course, there are many more small changes introduced with GNOME 44, but we won't get carried away with those. Let's talk memory usage. Running HSOP, we can see that the memory usage here is around 917 megabytes out of eight gigs, which is practically on par with latest GNOME desktop releases, although back maybe around GNOME 40, we were seeing numbers in the 800s. The CPU usage here is somewhere between one and 2%, no swap space being used. There's 110 tasks, 319 threads, 64 kernel threads, and the uptime has surpassed 11 minutes. As far as system information goes, this is Ubuntu Lunar Lobster. We're using the beta version. Kernel version 6.2, there are a total of 1,769 base packages and nine snaps. It's using Bash Shell 5.2 and the GNOME 44 desktop. The window manager is Mutter and the theme Iowata. The general theme here is Yaru Dart, including the icons, and this is being emulated on an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X series CPU and still using around 900 megs out of eight gigs of memory. So the main takeaways here is number one, we are getting a GNOME 44 update, and it doesn't seem like we have the mess of two GNOME versions together, where I believe that happened between 43 and 44 on the last version, 
that was quite a mess where they had apps from both 43 and 44, but everything now is seemingly together on one version of GNOME. The second thing is we have an updated installer, which honestly seemed a little slower than the previous one, but I'm sure there's improvements to be made there. Hopefully we'll see them come in here before the stable release. And finally, kernel version 6.2 has been introduced to us with Meza 23 graphics for gaming. So for those of us who need the latest and greatest for our hardware, well, now you have an updated Ubuntu version that you can run to support that hardware. Regardless of all of that, is it worth the upgrade? Well, in my opinion, since this is the off year where we don't get the LTS or long-term support edition release, we won't get five years of maintenance and support here. This is just an intermediary version of Ubuntu, which is gonna have to be updated within the next year once it gets released. With that being said, I don't think there's actually enough updates here to personally upgrade to this. Specifically, people who are wanting to use some features of GNOME 44 that weren't introduced before might want to upgrade to this, as well as if you have hardware that's not supported in the older kernel, if you have access to that hardware with the kernel version 6.2, it might be also well worth the upgrade here to Ubuntu 23.04. Let me know what you're going to do in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe below. Hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.